Right, welcome back guys, Nature for KVR Audio. Let's take a look at some of the other features in KVR Studio Manager, particularly the stuff that you can do within the web frame that is linked to the My KVR section of your KVR account. Now the My KVR section is accessible from the web page itself, but much of the functionality is available here within the Studio Manager app too. Uh, to get there, we're gonna click on My KVR Home. Now, by default, uh, my KVR Home is going to load up a news feed. Now, this news feed is specifically tailored for you based on the plugins that you have installed on your system. You can see I have some UVI stuff. I'm getting UVI news. This one we're receiving because we actually own Contact, and this library is developed for Contact, so we get relevant information about Contact libraries in our feed as well. The same goes for the shop. You can actually shop directly from the app as well, which will take you to the KVR Marketplace. Again, this is going to show you products that are related to things that you have installed. So you can see we're getting some um, preset libraries for Oberhausen, which I have installed right here. And that's why we're receiving this in the shop menu. Now, there's another way that you can actually access some of this stuff too by double clicking on Oberhausen, for example. We could just click on the Soundware section within the product page here, and you'll see sounds that are available for Oberhausen, some of which are in the marketplace. We could actually just add them to our cart directly from here. Let's go back to the My KVR Home section again. Let's take a look at the summary page. The summary page will give you your system stats available to you here. As well as sort of breakdown of your plugins, so you'll get the amount of instrument plugins I have currently installed. I have effects uh, of those, all the VST3 ones that I have installed. 300 of them are currently up to date. One's not found and so forth. You get a nice little summary of everything. Uh, you can see I've got a number of compressors that make up a lot of plugins in my collection. EQ, reverb, a couple of synths there. Uh, and then also popular brands that I have installed currently. I have quite a lot of Arturo plugins installed, Native Instruments, Plugin Alliance, and so on. Additionally, there is a, a sort of list of everything I have currently on my system over here. From this page, we can also share and compare groups with other KVR users. Stay tuned for the next video. We'll take a look at this in more detail. We can also access a video feed. Once again, this is pertaining to stuff that we have installed on our system. Quite handy if there are tutorials uh, uploaded by developers here, as well as previews for sound banks and so forth that you can view in the video library. Let's take a look at the history tab. This is quite an interesting one as well because this provides us a timeline of everything that we've done on our system. And it's constantly updated by using KVR Studio Manager all the time. Uh, now, because I started off fresh for the purpose of this tutorial series, you can see everything that was added on the 28th of February, uh, these were all added to our library. And it also created this group at the top here, which is based on my uh, desktop name. You can see it's a Windows 11 computer. You can run this on multiple computers and you will get different groups for different computers. Again, we'll cover this when we look at comparison features. And then notably here, yeah, you can see if you watched the first video where we did the updates, contact and complete control actually has created an entry here saying that on this date, we updated contact to 7.8.1. It's really handy for just keeping track of what you do on your computer. Now let's take a look at the group at the top. Let's try clicking on this one. You'll see you get a drop down menu showing all of the different groups that I have in this account. Let's also just click on this group bar at the top. This is the current computer that we're on. You can see I can switch between different computers. Uh, as well as the standard KVR groups that we have on the website itself. You can also create custom groups to populate with whatever you want uh, right here. And lastly, if you go to the global options, you can actually manage notifications for certain developers and products. By taking a look at all of the features that you have here, we could uh, set up to receive emails from specific developers as stuff is released uh, or decide to turn them off completely. All right, so that's it for this video. We'll take a look at the comparison functions in the next one. Stay tuned for more tutorials for KVR Studio Manager. Until then, take care and see you in a bit.